actor and comedian Taylor Kalmas he really struck a chord back in 2015. He started these comedy vlogs, these video blogs about parenting and do-it-yourself building videos, garnering millions of views on YouTube. His channel is called Dude Dad. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what are you eating? Taylor even caught the attention of home renovation and lifestyle guru Chip and Joanna Gaines. That landed him a role as host on Super Dad, a DIY TV series on Magnolia Network. Now, the proud husband and father of three is celebrating his second season helping other dads still be dudes by making their backyard dreams a reality. Here's another clip. Take a look. I love building things for kids. Now I'm stepping out of my own backyard to help other dads bring their kids' dreams to life. Three, two, one, go! Man, today's a great day to be a dad. I uh, know. It's one of those moments that I, as a dad, won't forget because I know my kids won't forget it. And sometimes I might get a little too crazy. Humorous look at life as an expectant father. And Taylor's in the studio with us right now. Good to see you. Okay, so we have this project behind us. We're going to get to that in a second. I'm yes. still intimidated by it, but I'm told it's easy. All right, I, I'm not a do-it-yourself dad, but I am a do-it-yourself mom. Perfect. Meaning, like, I try. I don't always succeed. Mm -hmm. The things you pull off, that water slide... I mean, I thought I was doing it when I put in the slip and slide. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that's just the sort of the next level version of that. That's actually a piece of uh, material that they put in the back of a dump truck so that everything slides out. Uh -oh. So we just made that sort of smaller, rolled it all the way down the hill, uh -huh. and then we had to put a little silicone lubricant on it, oh. and boom, you got yourself a Okay, so side. I was gonna ask you, so now we're live TV. I hope I don't get a lawsuit. I don't advise this at home. My cousin, when I was a kid, uh -huh. tried to convince me to put vegetable oil on our oh, slip and yeah. slide. <laughs> yeah. Because it makes you go faster. For sure. So you authorize that? Yeah, well, I would use... <laughs> I would use dish soap. Dish soap. Dish soap, yeah. Dish soap and water. So That's you get all a you bath need. and a slide exactly. at the same time. You knock two birds with one stone. I like that. I, I love this quote that you have here. I've got all these notes here. But this was the quote I love uh, you have in your book, and you talk about being a dad. You said, "Do this is perfect because it's Memorial Day weekend, so think about this. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be a brisket dad or a burger dad? Do you want to resemble someone who spends time planning, preparing, and making a brisket, or someone who slaps some beef patties on a grill, flips them once, and takes them off after 10 minutes? When it comes to parenting, Quality work takes time and usually isn't convenient. I was confused by that because at first I thought you were saying, be the burger dad, the spontaneous, but then it says parenting takes time, so that's the brisket dad. So yeah. you want to be both? No, so, um, I mean, I've got two friends. My two best friends, uh, Burke and DJ, both love making brisket, but I make fun of them all the time because it's like a whole yeah, day. Yeah, brisket's never. a whole day. It's like 10 you hours. You don't see the kids. They get up at like 4 a.m. Yeah. to just to start to smoker and marinate the whole thing. But the amount of like prep time and planning that they put into it is a great metaphor for how we should approach fatherhood. Yeah, okay. You know, that you, you can't just wake up and expect to be good at it. Like, you right. got to put in the time, you got to put in the effort, you got to do the research, you got to like, you know, and each kid is, is different different and uh -huh. individual that you have to focus different energy on each one of them. So some kids need a brisket dad and some kids need a burger dad. I think all kids need a brisket dad. Okay, okay. All, all kids deserve the attention that it takes to make a brisket. But the, you do need the spontaneity because look, look at those yes. drinks. Did you see that kid when they burst down that Lego thing? That, wow, <laughs> that's a burger dad there. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I I like burgers and brisket. So let's just go with that. Oh, I like that. 